Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my Vancouver Canucks franchise mode. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday. Uh, I actually went ahead and um, simmed the first game. I put on my, I forgot to turn on my mic. So I was like talking to myself and it wasn't even on. I was like, you gotta be freaking kidding me. So I just stopped the sim and then I just redid the thing. But anyways guys, last episode, definitely check it out. We won the lottery again um, via New Jersey's pick. Um... And we got a pretty good defenseman, but we ended up trading him for an even better defenseman that will grow even quicker. And then we got a really good trade last episode. I don't I don't remember what we traded, but I know we got it involved Josh Hosang in a second. It might have been something else too, but we got Matthew Barzell. They had him on the block. 23 medium elite, and he's killing it this year for the Islanders, man. Like, he's first in points. Like, he just passed Brock Besser, but, like, I don't know why. But these are the lines now, guys. We got Panarin, Horvat, Barzell. Uh, Fast, Granlin, Berchi, Slepeshev, Dallin, Besser, Vertanen, Houdon, and then Gajokovic. And then on defense, we got Yulevi, Merkley, who's up to an 83 now. Yulevi's up to an 84. We got Stetcher, and then we got this Ruchin guy from, I don't know who it was, I think it was Montreal. Um, 18, medium lead, already a 76 overall. And then we got Sproul and Good Branson for the last pairing. And then obviously Rock in the Cage. Oh, shit, my bad. Uh, Rock in the Cage, we got... The man himself, Thatcher Demko, is already up to an 88 overall. And then we got Calvin Pickard backing him up. So our goalies are pretty solid. Our team's looking solid. Um, so let's hop into, um, I don't know, we'll do two months of sim. And where everyone's at, maybe call up Pedersen. Um, he's already a 76, so we might get rid of Houdon and then put Pedersen there just so we can grow a bit faster. So... We'll send it to the St. Louis Blues game, guys, and then we'll see what everything's at, and then I don't know what I'm going to do. We'll see. We probably won't really need to do anything besides just call Patterson up because I want him to start getting, you know, NHL minutes. So, guys, I'm going to sim up. I'll see you there. All right, guys, so after two months of sim, as you can see, we have a record of 10-11-1, which is very interesting. Um, I did not expect our record to look like that, um, but Panarin has a point per game, guys. Um... Let's just go see how everyone's doing. That's weird. How we're doing that bad. Barzell's having a good year. Panarin, man. How old's Panarin now? 29. Horvat. Minus 8, though. They're minus. Berchi's a very straight even, which is good. Faust is um, plus 1. He's doing pretty good. Um, Granlin. Dallin's doing good on the fourth line. I mean, the third line. Wow. Um, Besser. <sighs> I don't know what we're going to do over Bester, man. We might have to get rid of, like, Berchi or something. And then throw Bester over on the on his wing or something. And then maybe throw uh, Dallin or... I don't know. We'll see. But that's weird. So I think this is what I'm going to do, guys. Um, I'm going to throw Bester over on his off wing to play with Fast and Granlund. We, we need a bit more center depth, but that will happen once we have Pedersen. We're probably going to play him on the second line. Um, and then I'm going to do something about Berchi. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. And then just throw Slepeshev on the other side. Keep Foss there, obviously. Keep Barzell there. Keep Panarin there until, you know, maybe make a trade eventually. But I'm going to do this. Switch Besser and Slepeshev and then do something about Berchi and maybe trade for someone who's a third line guy. So, um... I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to go edit up their positions, and then we will go see. Well, actually, we'll get another month of sim done, and then we will uh, go see what's available. All right, guys, so I switched up the lines. Well, not the lines. I switched up the positions and also the lines like you saw. I don't know what I'm going to do with Berch yet. I might just leave him there for now, even though he's listed as a second line forward. I kind of want to get Besser some more ice time and get him upgraded. Um, keep all the other lines. I'm probably going to end up trading Houdon and then moving Dallin there and then putting Pedersen because I don't know what overall he is now. He's still a 76, but I think if I give him more ice time, he'll start growing even faster. So move Dallin down there and then Pedersen there and then eventually he'll move over Granlin. Keep Granlin though. Keep Granlin for a third line guy and uh, then eventually uh, Pedersen will take over Horvat's spot. Defense, I don't think anybody is really upgraded. Ruchin's already up to a 79. Holy crap, dude. That's crazy. Probably gonna have to do something with Stetcher and try and get someone else who's, you know, a better, uh... You know what, maybe we'll trade Berchi for a second pairing defenseman that shoots right. That That is probably the right thing to do. Trade Berchi for a second line, uh, second pairing defenseman. And then keep Besser there. I don't know what who's gonna go here, but 
maybe move Dallin over, and then, I don't know, we'll see you guys, I'll figure it out. So we're going to go get some uh, more sit and done guys. I am going to um, sim. Hmm, who's a good game that we could sim against? How's Washington doing? Terrible. Chicago. Terrible, terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Rangers are decent. Pittsburgh's doing terrible. You know, we'll sim up against. Uh, we'll sim up against Winnipeg. They're doing pretty good. So I'll see you guys at the Winnipeg game, and we'll slow sim that game, guys. And as you can see here now, guys, we are now over 500 now that I made those line changes after uh, the next two months of sim. Uh, Panarin is still killing it. Let's see how everyone else is doing. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do, man. Like, what, guys, what should I do about, um, holy shit, Barzell's killing it. Horvat, Panarin, no one's really gotten any upgrades. Berchie's still doing well. Foss is up to an 84 now. Good for him. Uh, Ulevi's finally starting to turn it up now. Uh, Dallin, Slapashev. Merkley's up to an 85 now. Holy crap. Besser's still an 81, but he'll grow. Houdon, Stetcher. I don't know. I'm thinking we should just maybe trade Stetcher. I want to keep uh, Berchie for now. Ruchin up to an 82 now. Holy crap, man. That's insane. That's unbelievable. Um, I don't know. We're, I'm going to go look around at the team's trading blocks, guys, and see what's available. I want to try and get a decent um, second pairing defenseman other than Stetcher. So I'm going to go look now, guys, and then I'll see what I, I see what I uh, come up with. As I look through the trading blocks, guys, there was nothing available. It was still Brent Burns, uh, 35 years old, $8 million for the next still, like, five years. I'm not taking that contract. So he was the only one available, but... I'm going to actually start looking through the teams now and see if I can maybe look at anyone that, you know, catches my eye. So anyways, guys, I'm going to go look and I'll see, uh, I'll see once I find a good deal. So guys, here I found a deal with Carolina. Uh, they want this breeze ball guy. He's literally nothing. I don't know. He's not nothing, actually. He's actually pretty decent, but I don't really need him. Uh, and Stetcher and then this medium starter goalie that we got, uh, he has decent trade value. We don't need him because we got Demko and Pickard. And then we're going to get Brett Pesci. He's 26 years old, medium, top 40. He's an 84 overall, and he shoots right. So it's going to be perfect to play with um, uh, Ruchin. And then we just ask for the third back just to, you know, get some get a decent, uh, you know, value out of this, out of this uh, trade. So let's see if this goes through. Trade rejected. So what if we take out the third and then Brisebois? And we give them the goalie and stature. Trade rejected still. All right. Um, right. I'm going to go try and edit this up more. Maybe I'll give them like a... We do have a first. Holy shit. And it's Montreal's too. Um, I'll give them a sixth. See if this goes through. Trade rejected still. Fuck off, Carolina. We don't need any of... They want, they want these late picks. I don't care. Take them. Trade rejected. Why are you saying no? I don't want to give you a fourth. Like, I want to keep those. Let's see what else we can give them. Maybe we could give them, like, a third. Do you guys want a third? And a fifth? Or a sixth? Or whatever? Let's try this. Oh, this has to go through. Like, look at the trade value. What the hell? Why are they saying no? I already told you that this deal isn't going to fly as is. Your current offer of what Carolina is looking for... It aren't You aren't offering what Carolina is looking for right now. Try some other day, maybe? Fuck off. You guys are fucked. Oh, my God. Idiots. No, fuck it. I'll give you a fourth. Trade rejected. Oh, my God, dude. Doesn't look like this deal is going to go through, guys. Like, what do you guys want? Rookie skaters. I'll just do... Uh, we still got that uh, fucking guy. Oh, shit. Pedersen's up to a 77. Skater's matching block. Panarin, no. Fast, no. No. None of these guys, man. You guys don't want any defensemen besides Breezebaugh? Goalies matching block? I already put you in there. God. Huh. What if we give them good Branson? Do you think maybe that would go through? 
He has he has a lot more trade value. I'll slip in something else. Slip in a pick. Give them a sixth. See if this goes through. Like, come on. Trade rejected. What the hell? What are you guys freaking on? Holy crap, dude. I don't want to get rid of a second. Besides maybe this one. Trade accepted. Okay, so we just had to add a second, clearly. So they finally accepted the deal. We gave them that goalie and good Branson, then a second for Pesci. I think that's a good deal. We'll just have um, center play on the third pairing. Um, I'm going to see what else we can, you know, trade. Um, this Bowie guy, like, he's 20 years old, 65, medium elite. Like, he's not really doing much. He's not growing. I might try and trade him for... I don't know. What should we trade him for? You guys can tell me. We're not going to trade him now, but you guys can tell me down in the comments uh, what we should do with Bowie or Bowie or whatever the hell his name is. And, um, you know, what we could get for him. Uh, we'll probably end up trading Panarin soon. Um, he's getting up there. Uh, probably just throw someone else better there. I'm still thinking about getting rid of Berchi. I don't know. I think the first trade is fine. Just keep Pesci. Don't know what to do with Berchi. You guys can just tell me. Um, what we can do with the team with Bear Chi, with Bowie, or whatever the hell his name is. Because I don't know what I'm going to do, but I think right now I'm going to go call up... Actually, I'm going to go trade F Houdon. And then... Um, and then call up uh, whatever his name is, uh, Pedersen. Where's Houdon? Houdon, Houdon, where are you, bud? There he is. So who don't, who's interested in him? Anaheim is, they have the cap space. We'll just take him for like a, I don't know, is a fourth good? That seems to be nice. Let's take him for a fourth. There we go. So we just got rid of who don't, and then we just got to call up um, Pedersen, which I'll do right now, and then I'll see you back at the Winnipeg Jets game where we will slow sim. All right, guys, I fixed up the lines. I called Pedersen up. I put him on the third line. I want him to start growing faster. You know, he's already, what is he, 22? Is he actually Is he actually already 22? I thought he was like 20 still. But I don't know, it doesn't matter, he's still young. I want him to get that ice time, medium elite. What's his face-offs? Oh my god, they're terrible. What the frick? What's Barzell's face-offs? They're decent. Maybe we should throw Barzell on the center. Do this. Just move Patterson over to the wing because, dude, his face-offs are garbage. His, Barzell's face-offs are decent, so we might just keep him at center. So we'll go switch up Barzell back to center, Besser back to right wing, and then Pedersen to the uh, left wing. We'll do that, guys, and uh, we'll get back to the Winnipeg Jets game. We'll still send that. All right, guys, so here we are back again at the Winnipeg Jets game. Um, they are 28-19-3. We are 28-16-6. So I think we're actually tied, if I'm not wrong. Where are they? We got 62 points for first in our division, which I'm happy about. Uh, let's see where uh, Winnipeg is. Oh, no, no, no. We don't have the same. Okay. So my math was wrong, clearly, so we'll just slow sim this game. Get into it, guys. Hopefully we can win. I want to make the playoffs. I want to make a deep playoff run. Maybe win the cup. Who knows? We'll see. But anyways, guys, first period. 2-1, Shifley Ehlers, and then Fast got it, okay. Second period, um, line A, Panarin, fuck. Third period, we're out shooting them too. Oh my god, we tied it, Jake Rutan and a boy on Michael Neuvers. Alright, here we go, OT boys. Shoot out. <clears throat> and we lose in a freaking shootout, are you kidding me? Oh my god. Team's still doing good. I'll show you guys the lines right now. So we got Panarin, Horvat, Fast. We got Besser, Barzell, Berchi, Pedersen, Granlin, Slepeshev, uh, Vertan and Dallin, uh, Gajokovic. Man, that's so hard to say. And then we got Yulevi, Merkley, uh, Pesci, and then Ruchin, Sproul, and Stetcher. So team's looking really solid. And then obviously, guys, rocking the cage, we got our man. 
Thatcher Demko. Which hopefully will be good in real life. But anyways guys, I'm going to get another two months I think of sim done. And then actually we'll trade up to the trade deadline. We'll sim up to the trade deadline maybe. I don't know. We don't really need to make any more trades. So I think I'm just going to sim up to... Uh, he's doing good. 30 and 13. Holy shit. We'll, uh, we'll sim up to the National Predators game and then we'll slow sim that one. Hopefully we can beat them. And yeah, I'll see you guys there. Alright guys, so after the next... Uh, I don't know, I guess it was two months of sim. Uh, we are now 41, 24, and 10, which is a very good record. And then we are up against National 45, 22, and 8. It was kind of weird because for the first month, it was like we win one, we lose one, we win one, we lose one, we win one, we lose one. Like it just kept going back and forth. And then we got two wins in a row uh, with, um, as you can see, Arizona and Nashville at the bottom left where the calendar is. And uh, as you can see, Panarin, 68 points, doing good. Doing good for us. 31 goals, Horvat 67, doing good, Barzell, doing nice, how's Berchi doing, good, Granlin's doing well, Yulevi's doing good, I'm happy with his performance this year, Merkley's up to an 87 already, holy crap, what the hell, uh, Slepyshev's doing decent, you know, Dallin's doing his job, still Besser, man, what, what's going on with Besser? Pesci's fine, Stetcher, it doesn't matter, but like, guys, 23 points, 75 games, and he's playing on the second line. What's going on with him? What's going on, Besser? He had a good year last year. What's going on this year? Wow. Good year that year, too. Ah, come on, man. Gotta do better, dude. I want to see how Pedersen's doing. See uh, the lines here. See if he's got upgraded. Okay, so he's up to 78. So he's slowly getting there, which I'm happy about. But our center depth is better now that we move Barzell back. You know, his 77 faceoffs is decent. What's Horvat's? 84. Okay, he has really sick faceoffs. Grandlin's are 74. You know, he's still doing good. So our team's our team's fine. He's playing on the second line. Sniper, playmaker, sniper. Like that's the perfect combination. Sniper, two-way forward sniper, like, come on. Like, they're doing great. Don't get me wrong, I'm not going to split this lineup. Unless, you know, eventually, you know, maybe, what's Pedersen? He's a two-way forward, but, you know, might end up moving Berchi up with Panarin, I don't know. We'll see about Panarin in the future, but Pedersen, I just want him to grow faster. So that's why he's up. Defense, I don't know how Merkley's already out there. Ruchin's a fucking 83. He's only 19. Uh, I don't know, Yulevi's doing good, though. Like, how's, uh... How's he doing? You know, he's doing okay for his first year. Um, Pesci's doing fine. Merkley's crazy, man. He's getting crazy upgrades. So I think I'm just going to keep it like that for now. Whoever grows... Whoever is higher next year for... If, between Ulevi and Ruchin, they're going to be playing the first pairing. So, um, we're going to slow sim this game against Nashville, guys. And then get the rest of the season sim done. And then see if we uh, make the playoffs. And, uh, yeah. So here we go. First period... We are up 1-0, Bo Horvat, attaboy, but they're playing Grubauer, so we should win this game. Second period, 1-1, Ryan Johansson, or Johansson, I mean. Um, third, and we lose 2-1. Fucking Nick Benino, are you kidding me? That's terrible. Terrible, 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 guys, come on. We always win one and lose one. All right, well, we still got Montreal's first. I don't know how they're doing, but we'll check after this year. We'll slow some last game against LA. So after that little sim, guys, we went on a huge losing streak, as you can see. <laughs> we just made the playoffs. Holy crap, dude. If we lose this game... Actually, no. Yeah, even if we lose this game, we'll win. I mean, we'll, we'll still make it. So we're fine, but we went on a huge losing streak. I want to see where Montreal has landed. Okay, so they finished... They finished fifth last, and we have their first. So I'm happy about that. Let's see who we get. In the draft, hopefully, maybe we they, we get a crazy luck again. Um, in the draft, win the lottery again, that'd be insane. But anyways, guys, let's hop into this game. We gotta win this game, man. We have to beat LA. Come on. They have Brandon Sutter. Let's beat Brandon Sutter. So here we go. First period, one nothing. Slepyshev, add a boy on Johnny Quick. Uh, shots are nine to four, so it was kind of a boring period. But here we go. Second period. 
Three three. Vertan and Barachi marches so Kopitar to Foley. Third period. And we win four three. Let's go. Troy Stetcher. Atta boy, bud. Atta boy. I was going to trade you, but no. I'd rather trade good Branson, my man. But we made the playoffs. We were tied with LA. Perfect. And as you can see, guys, we obviously made the playoffs. Um, we are up against LA, who we are tied with. This is going to be a great series, I think. So like I said, until the Stanley Cup final, I don't know. I think I'm just, I don't want to take forever simming through the playoffs. I'll have you guys look at the sim, but I think I'm just going to sim the first three games until game four to see, you know, what happens with 3-0, 0-3, all that kind of stuff. If like teams are, you know, on the brink of getting eliminated, but let's get the sim done here, guys. This is going to be a great series against LA. Let's try and beat them. Took game one. We lost game two. Okay, we're up 2-1. Uh, I'm going to send the next game. We're up 3-1. Okay, so here we go, guys. We're going to slow send this game so we can move on to the next round. We got to move on, guys. Come on, let's knock out LA. Barzell against Marcheseau. So. Here we go. First period. 2-1. Horvat and Granlin, and then Marcheseau so and Demko. All right. <sighs> they were out shooting us, too. Um, all right. Second period. 3-1. Berchi, let's go, man. Atta boy. Still beating us in shots, though. Demko's playing nasty, boys. Third period, and we win 4-1. Demko made 34 saves for the win. Bo Horvat, man. Let's go. Knocked out LA. All right. Let's see who we're up against in the next round. I don't know. I'm just going to sim up to here. Let's see. Let's see. Still nothing. We are up against Arizona. I'm just going to do this uh, thing real quick. Defense six weeks. So we are up against Arizona, guys. They went to game seven. So let's hopefully um, knock them out too. I want to try and get to the Stanley Cup Finals, man. Let's try this. We got to. So some of the first three games. Oh, we're down one. Two nothing. Three nothing to Arizona. What the hell? Are you kidding me? Dude, don't get knocked out by Arizona. Dude, they went to game seven against, I don't even know who. Come on. All right. First period. 3-2. Holy shit. So many goals. Strom, McKinnis, Keller. All right. Second period. 5-3, man. Come on, guys. You got to do better than that. Oh, third period. Oh, my God. We tied it. Holy shiza. Besser and Barzell. Let's freaking go. Oh, my God. Let's continue the sim. Oh, my God. I'm going to slow sim this. And we lost. No. Are you freaking kidding me, man? Anthony do freaking Claire. Are you? Oh. Oh, I'm actually pissed. Uh, you got to be kidding me, man. You got to be kidding me. We lost in the second round to Arizona, man. Oh. They swept us. They freaking swept us. Oh. Bo did good. But anyways, guys, I'm going to send it to the draft now. Let's see who wins the cup. Oh, that hurts, man. That hurts. We'll get them back next year, though. Next year, we'll get Arizona back for sure. All right. I'm going to send to the draft now, guys. And uh, we'll see who won the Stanley Cup and the Calder Cup and if we won the lottery. So I'll see you guys there. And, guys, the Carolina Hurricanes won the Stanley Cup. Holy crap. I did not expect that to happen. I thought it would have been Arizona. But, and then the Milwaukee Admirals. I don't know what call uh what ahl uh farm team that is but anyways guys those are your uh champions right there and let's see if we won the lottery all right that's the new salary cap i'll do the scout real quick um very scouted twice there let's see who has more players 70 players okay we'll so go there please let us win the lottery dude i would be freaking stoked holy crap guys we got the second overall pick via Montreal. Holy crap. We're getting crazy picks this year, man. St. Louis got first, then Vegas, then Anaheim, then Boston. So who did we screw over? I don't know. But anyways, guys, let's hop into the draft here. Hopefully we get a really good player. I don't know what player we'll need because our team's just getting stacked even more now. So let's hop into it. All right, guys, we're here in the draft now. Uh, as you can see, we don't really need anyone. We might need another defenseman. 
I don't know, we'll probably just sign some depth defensemen for the AHL in free agency, but I don't know. Who's getting up there? Panarin. So we could use, like, a left winger. So they just got an 81 overall playmaker. Holy crap, why is it going so fast? 81 overall Corso uh, right wing playmaker. All right, let's make our pick here. Hopefully there's, like, a left winger that we can get. Exact elite, high elite. Oh, my God. Time scouted. Oh my gosh. What do we do here? Do we take Giordano? Offensive defenseman? I guess so. Eaton, two-way defender though. Time scouted, exactly. But he, this guy's highly. Frick, man. What should we do? 5'11", 180, 17 years old. His stats are all green. Giordano, 17, high elite. 5'8", though. He's, he's tiny. What about this guy? Six feet, 192, defensive defenseman. Let's go with Eaton here. Hopefully it will be good. 78 overall, medium elite. That's not terrible. Let's see what uh, Vegas got. 76. Okay, good. So we got the better one out of that. Uh, Two-way defender, medium elite. 78. Holy crap, dude. What are we going to do with our defense, man? We're going to have to trade <laughs> or something, man. 72. And then that last pick. Medium lead, 69. Okay, so our defense is messed up right now, man. I don't know what the hell we're going to do. But let's go sim to our next pick, guys. And um, hopefully we can get another good player. We need some more forwards. So I might end up trading Panarin, try to get someone good. But I don't know. We'll see, you guys. Sim to next pick. I'll see you there. All right, so here we are at the second round, guy, or the fourth round, actually. Holy crap. Yeah, we didn't really have any uh, good other, other good picks. Um... Okay, we need a left we need a left winger, so we'll just take this guy. Medium top six, that's not terrible. But I think I'm gonna send the entire draft now, guys. We have nothing. So I'm gonna send the entire draft, and then we're gonna to get to the re-sign phase. I'll I'll go ahead and do that uh, for you guys. You guys don't have to watch that, it's nothing special, and then we'll see what happens in free agency. Alright, entry draft is over. Eaton, who's another great defenseman. Holy crap, dude. Our defense is just stacked, man. What's going on? All right, advance. I don't know what the hell we're going to do with our defense. Our defense is just completely stacked. So I'm going to send to the re-sign re phase, guys, and um, see who needs to uh, get re-signed. And then I'll see you guys in free agency. All right, guys. So like I said, I went ahead and did uh, all the took care of all the contracts. So this Comfort Guy accepted. Slepeshev accepted. Eaton accepted. Uh, Berchi rejected. I want to test the free agency market this offseason. Maybe more cash would persuade me. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Granlin rejected. He wants to test free agency. I want to keep Granlin, though. Uh, Foster rejected. You made my day when you picked me in the draft, but this offer is not acceptable to me. I would like to have your team, but you have a full roster, so I'm not able to accept this deal. Oh, okay. Uh, rejected. Pickard rejected. Jordan Subban accepted. And accepted. Accepted. Ulevi accepted. That's good. Uh, Kerman, I think that's it. I don't know. I'm going to go see you guys. Let's check. So, Berchi, he wants a lot, though. He's already 28. So I'm going to release him. We'll sign Granlin, though. Uh, three years. Give him 100k more. Try and get him for that to play third line. Pickard, I want to keep for backup. Two years, let's go 1.9 for two years. And then Benton, I think we could get you. 950, shit, okay, well, I'll just have to take you for one year. So we'll just leave it at that, guys. Uh, see what's available in free agency. So hopefully these guys accept. Let's check. Rejected, what the hell? Rejected too. And the chance to play you were playing the hell been accepted okay whatever so we'll release um pickard i don't know what the hell is wrong with him we'll release pickard i want to sign granlin though i want to keep granlin for that third line uh depth spot so five million for three years like you got to take this man come on pickard fuck you and then we'll just use anton forsberg for the backup so Let's see now. Rejected. What the hell? What do you want? 
What does Gremlin want? Jesus, man. Three years, 5.2. If he doesn't take this, I'm just releasing him and getting someone else. That's just f messed up, dude. Okay, he accepted. Finally, Jesus. Alright, guys. So we got our contracts taken care of. Everyone wanted freaking stupid deals, but you know what? We have the cap space for it. We still have, I think... 16 million in cap space so let's submit to the free agency guys see what's available and i'll see you there so there isn't much in free agency guys um besides berchi but he wants so much six teams interested in berchi too holy uh maybe there's any some depth guys this axelson guy i'll take him he's medium he's low elite so we'll take him Exactly, don't want you. We'll take this guy. So there isn't much in free agency. Maybe we could trade that Bowie guy for someone. That will take Berchi's spot. So let's check if there's any goalies that are decent for, you know, trade bait. Gibson's up there. Weimer, holy crap. Medium starter, medium starter. Alright, let's try that. Uh, leave it at that. Hopefully you don't have a full roster. I'm going to go find a trade right now for uh, that Bowie guy. Maybe, uh, let's see what he's at. 66, 20 years old. Like, I still want to... 79, he's getting up there. I don't know. I don't really want to... I'm going to go check this freaking Eaton guy, man. 17 years old, and he's going to be making the NHL roster. Like, should we get rid of you, Levy, then? I don't know. Like, that's insane. Ruchin's going to be first pairing. I don't know what the hell to do. Uh, Horvat dropped. We might need a first-line center. I think we'll need a first-line center for sure. Maybe move Barzell up there? I don't know. We'll see what uh, Bowie can get us. I'm going to go look through, guys. So I will see you once I find a good deal. All right, guys. I think I'm going to go with Clayton Keller here. We literally don't need Bowie. You know, he's 66, 20 years old, 5'9". We don't need him. He's a sniper. Like, yeah, he's going to be good. But I think it would be nice to get Clayton Keller. Uh, 85. Holy crap. Insane hands. Shooting's decent. It'll go up. Obviously, he's a playmaker, but his hands are disgusting. Low elite, 22 years old. Can play second line with uh, Besser. And uh, I don't know. I think... Uh, I think that'll be a good deal. Unless we don't get Bowie, we move Barzell over, and then we get a new first-line center. So I think I'm going to look around for centers now, guys. We might do that instead. Just move Barzell over. And, uh, yeah, so I'll find a good deal. Maybe we could get Dylan Strom. I don't know. We'll see. But he's already 24. I want a really young guy. All right, guys. So I think we might have found our first-line center. It's the guy we drafted. Um... I think in the, I don't know what, in the second episode, we drafted him. And then we traded him for that fast guy, so I don't know. We might get him back. You know, his face-offs aren't terrible, but I think he'll grow over the summer if we get him. And then we give them fast. They already have Heischer, so this guy will be definitely be our first line uh, centerman, uh, Niedermeyer. Unless we get Heischer, he's got better face-offs, 81, and he's just he just looks disgusting. But he's already 22. I don't know. I might just go with this guy. Um, trades seem about even, so let's see if this just goes through straight up. Trade rejected, so we're going to have to spice it up a little bit. We're going to move Barzell over to the wing, I think, guys. He's an 85 now. Bo Horvat dropped for some reason, but we're going to keep Barzell, keep Grayland. Um, Who do they want? All skaters. We're keeping Fast for sure. Merkley's we're keeping. Panarin will keep. Uh, Ruchin we're going to keep. Pedersen will keep. Eaton will keep. Man, this is messed up, man. Like, I don't know what the hell to do. <laughs> like, <laughs> our defense is absolutely stacked. Like, should we just trade Levy and then just keep these guys? Like, look at how young they are. And Levy's already... <sighs> we're just going to have to trade Levy, I think, guys. I think I'm going to do that. He's going to grow over the summer like crazy. He's, already, he's only 17. He's 78 already. He's going to make our roster. 
So we're going to have to trade uh, Yulebi, but I don't know what we're going to trade him for. Maybe something that we'll need. I don't know. Um, but what else do they want? I'll keep this Kerman guy. What do you guys want? Skaters matching block. Okay, you want Stetch, you want Sprout, you want Breeze Bois. 23, 28. You're only one lower. You're left. All right, I could give him Sprawl. This should go through. Trade rejected. Are you kidding me? Draft picks. We only have a first this this one, so what about a third? This has to go through. Trade accepted. There we go. So we got Niedermeyer to be our first line center. Um, again, what do we need to do with um, you love you guys? Like, what do we need? We already got our centermen. One, two, three, four. Done. Barzell's going to move over. Uh, left wingers, we got Panarin, uh, Barzell, uh, Pedersen, and then uh, Gajokovic. Man, I always hesitate trying to say his name. Then we got uh, Fast. Uh, Besser's still in 81, though. What's going on with Besser? We need, like, a... Do we need, like, a second-line right wing? I think we'll need a second-line right wing. We're going to have to get rid of your levy. These guys are already freaking crazy stats, so... Holy, man. Our defense is stacked. Who's going to play? Um... So we'll get rid of your levy because we already got our one two there, Pesci, Merkley, and then Stetcher, I guess, and then Breeze Ball will come up. So we'll get rid of your levy. We need a right winger. So I'm gonna go look around, guys, for a right winger, and then I'll meet you. Uh, I'll meet you guys back here. So here we go, guys. I'm gonna make a trade with the Leafs regarding us giving them Oli you levy, and then us getting back right winger Mitch Marner. 24 years old, medium elite. He's a first line forward, but I'm going to play him on the second line. But uh, And then they're going to give us our second just to make this deal sweeten up a bit. Maybe we could maybe sneak in a first. They don't want the first, and they want Yulevi. So maybe this could... Let's try this. Trade reject. Okay, then we'll just get the second then. Trade rejected still. Dude, what the hell are these people on? I'm not giving up anybody else. Like, there's no one else for me to trade. Like, I can't get anyone else because they're all freaking medium elite stacked as shit. Like, it's crazy. I don't want to get rid of Panarin. Man. I'm keeping our defense for sure. Keeping fast. Keeping Niedermeyer. Eaton, we're keeping. This man's going to be a beast. Keeping Horvat. Barzell, Pesci. Like, we got to get rid of Yulevi or Panarin, man. We don't really need anyone back for Yulevi, though. Like, what if we get rid of Panarin? Well, our, our salary cap's going to be screwed, though. So I'm just going to try and get rid of Yulevi. But, like, what do you guys want? You guys don't want anything else. Like, I don't want to give you anything else. Sure, I'll give you this freaking guy. Go for it. Trade rejected still. Oh, my God. These people are messed up. Keeping you... Right winger, Keaton. Who's not signed? Like, we just get rid of who isn't signed. Sure, take him. Now give us Mitch Marner. Trade rejected. That's brutal. That is brutal. Who else isn't signed? Humphrey? Sure, take him. Trade rejected still. Holy crap, dude. If we, I don't want to do straight up, though. Like, that's such an unfair trade. What if we get a th third? That's still, like, in our favor. Let's try and ask him for another third. Two thirds. Trade rejected. One third. Trade accepted. Okay, there we go. So we got rid of Levy. We really didn't need him, guys. We got that 17-year-old, 78 overall guy, and then that Ruchin guy's already up to an 82, and then Merkley's an 86, and then we got Pesci, and then Stetcher, and then, um, what's his name? Uh, Breezebois. So, let's get back into it. Uh, I don't know where we are now, but we'll see. Um, 
we might be able to sign some people in free agency just to, you know, not make us under the salary cap. Adam Larson still doesn't have a deal. Wow. Berichi still doesn't have one. Um, 35, Boone Jenner. I don't know. I don't know who we need. We don't really need anyone. William Carlson. I think our team is fine. Corey Perry. Shore. Uh, hmm. We don't really need anyone else, dude. Well, we already made offers to people. They just haven't accepted yet because we already went into trades. But I think we did well for the trades. I don't know. You guys can throw your opinions down in the comments because... I'm not too sure about getting rid of Yolevi for Marner, but, like, we needed a right winger second liner. Um, and then we'll just see who, what the lines are looking like. And um, I'm going to go see if these uh, guys are going to accept their offers. And then I'll see you guys probably in, t in the next season. So here are now, guys, at the beginning of the 2021-2022 season. Crazy guys. Uh, got upgrades, man. I got to show you guys the lines. So like I thought, I knew Niedermeyer was going to shoot up. He is now an 86. Barzell is now an 86, and same with Horvat. But since Horvat's uh, older, I'm just going to put him on the third line. He's got good face-offs. Barzell, I'm going to keep there. And then we got Panarin. Fast is an 86. Marner's uh, an 85 still, but he's going to be playing second line. Pedersen is now uh, an 81. He should be growing a lot now. Uh, Dallin's now an 82. Besser's still an 81. I don't know what's wrong with Besser, man. I really don't. I have no idea what's wrong with Besser. So, I don't know. Our team is crazy, man. <laughs> like, if we don't win the Stanley Cup this year, like, you gotta be kidding me. And then defense, we got Ruchin now in 84, 19 years old. 18 years old, 78. He's gonna grow even more. Merkley's now in 88, 21. Pesci's in 85, and then we kept these guys down here. And then in net, we're rocking still the man, Dr. Demko, up to an 89, 64, 205. What a beast. So, those are the lineups for the next season, guys. Um, just crazy stacked. I don't know what's wrong with Besser. I don't know what's going on with him. Clearly, he's a bust in the game, but he's not in real life. Uh, crazy, guys. Our, our middle, our top freaking nine is insane. Even, even our top, even like our bottom six. I don't know. Like, it's crazy. Like, I can't, I don't want to get rid of Panarin. Because that will just shoot us down the salary cap even more. He, six years for four million. We got Patterson on such a good deal. Uh, he has one more year left on his deal. So he's going to want a lot of money. Um, let's see about Barzell. How many years left? One year at 5.5. He's going to want a lot too. Uh, Horvat, two years. We'll keep him though. So we're going to have to pay some big bucks. Uh, he still has, oh shit, he's going to want a lot of money too. We might end up having to get rid of Panarin, guys. Uh, but we'll see. So... I think that's going to do it for the episode, guys. It's a It was a bit of a longer one, but we got a lot of stuff done. Good trades, I think. We got rid of Yulevi. We didn't need him at all. Uh, our defense is just going to be absolutely disgusting. Our forwards are stacked. I think the re-sign phase next year is going to be a lot of money, so we're going to have to keep an eye out on Panarin. We might end up having to get rid of him just to you know save up some cap space. But anyways, guys, like I said, that's going to do it for today's episode. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure you leave a like. That will really mean a lot. And also subscribe if you are new or if you haven't already. And um, guys, I'm doing a giveaway. I'm going to be putting out a video today. This is going to be up tomorrow for you guys. I'm going to be doing another short video today on a, give on a Christmas giveaway that I'm doing. Um, I'm going to be giving away a $25 Xbox um, card and also a $25 PSN card for you guys. You know, it's the month of giving back. So, you know, December, it's Christmas. I'm giving back to you guys for all the support. So I hope you guys all enter for that and stay tuned for the video coming out later today. And also Twitter and Twitch will links will be down in the description below. Make sure you guys go follow me over there. I will be live tonight as always at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hopefully see you guys there. And yeah, hope you did enjoy. And uh, guys, again, leave your comments down below and I will see you in the next episode.